Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. I don't think anybody was expecting what happened yesterday on FC24 with the brand new evolution that was released. It is making prices go crazy on the market, up and down, and is creating some of the most insane evolutions we've seen all year long. The vast number of cards that fit in it. Guys, everybody needs to be doing this Evo for the broken cards that it can create. So we're going to talk about that and look ahead to today on Monday where we are probably getting new player picks because the 82 plus is going away. We're getting another guaranteed tots pack and does EA have something up their sleeve with tradable team of the season supply? We'll talk about that because it could be coming. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go straight into yesterday's content that was making waves on a Sunday. First with the SBCs. We'll start off with our daily end of an era or flashback. It is Anthony Martial. I mean, this card looks solid, but I think that's as far as I'll go with it, guys. It's just a decent Anthony Martial. He's not 5'5". Five five. That's one thing we've noticed with these end of an era cards and SBCs recently that EA has been releasing. It feels like they're pushing the stats, but they're holding back a little bit with the five-star skill moves, a five-star weak, but we didn't have a 5'5 five five Royce, right? He was 5'4". This Martial looks good, right? Not insane, though. Technical, rapid, and power shot. Plus, if you're a Man U fan, if you have French links in your team that is needing a strike, this is a decent card to go ahead and do. It just doesn't look insane, right? He does have very good playstyle pluses. He has a unique body type in game, which is a reason that people like to use Anthony Martial, but also some people say it's a reason to not use Anthony Martial because he feels a little stocky in game sometimes. They say a bit clunky. Um, and of course, there's plenty of banter around flashback to what, right? For this Martial card. But 4-5 with decent playstyle pluses, only 395,000 coins. As you can tell, SBC on Footbin, people are kind of like whatever with it, right? It's 25% upvoted, but the card itself is about 50-50 on the thumbs up and the thumbs down. It's only four squads to do. It does not make sense for me to do with my current team, and maybe some of you guys as well. It doesn't make sense to do unless you're a United fan for nostalgia purposes or whatever. So that's kind of like, I mean, Nacho Fernandez wasn't that insane. He was good. This Martial might kind of be the most mid of the flashback or end of an era cards that we have had so far during this promo, but it's still not a bad card, just not quite up to par with some of the others. Now we did have the continuation of the theory and it's kind of confirmed with the daily tots upgrade packs guys. We had at Bundesliga yesterday. So it is almost expected now that today would be League One because they've been going in order with how the team of the seasons were released from the start of this promo up until now. So League One was after Bundesliga, which is maybe what we'll see today. But the Bundesliga TOTS upgrade, of course, was re-released. Same requirements, 85, 86. It's only 80,000 coins to do. It is an easy craft. I got Javi Simons from this one yesterday. So that was kind of a, uh, a nice surprise from that SBC pack right there. So that one's good. We did have, yet again, the hero and the icon. I guess it's new that's hero SBC is new. The icon is not. The 90 plus hero this time, it's a one of three and it's only fantasy or golazo hero. So if you're really chasing a fantasy or golazo hero, this could be an SBC you try out. I don't think it's really worth it, 85 and 87. But if there's no player SBCs that you want to do right now, that could be worth the craft. It's kind of the same thing for the icon pick. Um, yeah, icon picks, 89 plus team of the year future stars ultimate birthday i mean sure there's not that many cards in that player pool but where's the golazos they need to be added into this uh these player picks for the icons if the golazos are in the heroes like they have been for a while they need to be in the icon picks as well it feels like again we're lagging behind a little bit on those but at least it is there in something to craft now let's get to the good stuff that was all the sbcs which were solid this is what we were not expecting guys this evolution the incisive pass Master. When I first clicked into the evolutions tab yesterday at content and I looked at this Evo, I just previewed the players like we all do when we see a new Evo. And I saw all of these cards here and my mind was blown. I was just shocked at all of the different cards that I could evolve. Basically, the requirements are very friendly. You can put a lot of cards into this. Almost anything that is pre-team of the season, right? Because a lot of cards, once we got to team of the season, were like 91, 92, 93, over that 90 rating threshold. Like simply opening up to see who fit. I'm sure you guys saw this too. 
it's just like everything in my club that was pre-team of the season appeared. And it's insane how many crazy cards you can create from this evolution. Guys, as I'm still looking through it, I don't know who I want to do. Because there's so many fun cards from my favorite club, Spurs, favorite nationality, USA, um, even some club legends that I have not been able to use in a while because they've kind of fallen behind the curve. Like this Ragoni card. I used this guy for so many games earlier on in the year. And take a look at the absolute beast. He's already 5'5", five five, but take a look at this card that I could upgrade him to now. And I didn't think I was going to be able to use this guy for a while, right? Like, that's the sort of stuff that I'm excited about with this Evo. A lot of you guys are able to upgrade players that you already had. And then, of course, there are so many players that you can put into this that just go crazy um, that maybe you have in your club or you want to go out and buy from the market because... They just look nuts. Like, even some that you might have in your club from SBCs. This Nakata SBC, which is still available. The Florenzi, which was from just a couple of weeks ago. This is a insane. This might have been the craziest Evo in terms of, like, how many top-tier meta players it creates and how much it's moving the market. Guys, this Varan is 5-star, five 5-star five with Anticipate, Slide Tackle, and Incisive Pass Plus with 91 Pace, 94 Defending, and 91 Physical. I don't really think that this evolution is really, like, suited for center backs because Incisive Pass on a center back, whatever, right? But Varan already has two defensive playstyle pluses. He's Varane. He's got all the other defensive play styles as well, or most of them. That's an insane card. But the fact that people are paying 750k to turn that in for another 100,000 coins to do this Evo, which, by the way, I mean, if this Evo is free, this already this Evo is already like stupid good with all the cards that it create, the stat boost that you get, the play style plus that you get with incisive pass. It's already stupid good, and it's really easy to do with only squad battles games, right? Really easy to get done. Like, this one is totally fine for 100,000 coins because of how good it is. If it was free, like, I mean, sure, it would be even crazier, but I think this one is justified at 100,000 coins. I don't think that should stop somebody from wanting to do this because 100,000 coins, if you put a little bit of effort in, you will be able to make those coins pretty easy, especially right now in this game with how many things are expensive, like tradable TOTS cards and stuff like that. Anyways, this G Nola card is the craziest one for me. People are buying this card for 1.4, 1.5 million coins and putting him into an evolution, paying another 100k, which makes an untradeable Ginola. And I know it's like Nate, but it's the best Ginola in this game. It's plus four. He's absolutely cracked. This is a card I can use for the end of the game. It is true, 100%. I just want to put a little bug in your ear. With all of these icons and heroes that are able to be evolved through lists, like Ginola, like Okocha, Mateus, where's Hullet? I haven't even seen Hullet yet, but he's one of the most popular cards uh, from this Evo as well. Guys, it just makes it seem like there is going to be the opportunity really soon for some of these cards to get new versions with Euros icons. I just want to throw that out there. This has happened so many times previously in this year that EA dropped an absolutely insane Evo for a player, right? Remember with Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker had a Winter Wild Cards Evo that went bananas, right? All of us did it. I did it. Card has so many games for my club. And then what do EA do two days, two days later? They drop a Winter Wild Cards version of Kyle Walker in packs that is better to keep you chasing that next card, right? That's kind of how this game works. I would not be surprised if there's a Ginola that rivals this Evo one, if there's a Hullet that rivals his Evo one in the next couple of weeks, maybe even next week with the Euros content coming very soon. So that's just something to put in the back of your mind. Maybe it's something where as you're looking through all these players that you could do for this Evo, you're undecided because you're like, Nate, I don't know. There's so many players I could do. The upgrade looks crazy for so many cards and I can only do it once. Maybe it's something where you just wait a couple of days. Just wait a couple days because there might be another evolution that comes out that you might be able to chain. Like this homegrown tots. I know it's another 100,000 coins, but there's a couple of pretty crazy evos that if you put in somebody like Gabriel, Gabriel Jesus, and there's a few other cards out there that come to mind uh, that are like 84 rated golds that you can actually put into both of these evolutions and create a really, really sick card. So that's something to watch out too there with some evo chains. But guys, like overall... This Evo is unbelievable. The type of cards you can create, the number, the sheer number of insane meta players that can fit in. And again, if you don't believe it, just based off the cards that you can create, again, just take a look at the market. We looked at uh, Ginola and Varan already, but what this does uh, is it actually hurts the market a lot too, right? Think of all those people buying the Varan, buying the Virgil van Dyke in form. How much is he? 422k what was he yesterday before content 
245,000 coins. With these price spikes, that is a lot of coins that are being drained off the market because not only are people buying VVD for 400K or Varan for 750 or Eder Militao for 400,000 coins for his foot birthday, right? Those cards are being turned into, well, really nothing. That's like taking coins off the market completely because people are just buying this Ginola, putting it into an evolution. Those coins disappear. They're never getting those back. And then boom, it's gone and those coins just disappear out of thin air, which devalues the market. And for people that are just doing the Evo straight out of pocket, that's 100,000 coins times however many millions of people doing that evolution, that's going to take a lot of value away from the market as well. So I'm not surprised in seeing that some of these cards from Team of the Season have actually dropped. Like I'm taking a look at Olivier Giroud. My menu's just glitched out. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Giroud is 400k and maybe even a little bit below that. But as you can see, his price yesterday, he went from like 450, 440k all the way down to below 400,000 coins as I reset my game because the menu's crashed. I feel like we do this once a video now. It's so annoying that that still happens on this game. Anyways, the market is taking a bit of a hit from this, right? Take out Ryan Cherokee, 240, 250k, even 260 He's now 225,000 coins. It's not like the whole entire market has just absolutely gotten demolished even further because of this Evo. It's just like a lot of stuff, especially on the lower tier. Like, think about it. If you're somebody who needs 100,000 coins, what are you going to go and sell? You're probably going to go and sell somebody who's, you know, maybe 50, 60, 70,000 coins that you can get up to that 100,000 coin mark and get yourself the coins that you need to complete the Evo. So I think that just devalues the market as a whole. The market right now in general, it's it's kind of like a double-edged sword because yes, prices are dropping a lot, which makes it decent, you see, you'd think, to buy. Um, but it really, it's devaluing the market a lot with these Evos and all this content that we're getting, all the SBCs that we're getting as well. Uh, and I say double-edged sword because also at the same time, this market is really great to trade in because these cards are hype. It's ultimate tots. There's a lot of gameplay demand. Um, and I'm watching cards that fluctuate in price every single day. I actually just picked up a team of the season uh, pop. I, I haven't bought her card. I haven't tried it out. 612. She was 800K plus yesterday. And right now she's 680,000 coins. It's just a really rare card that maybe somebody today is getting onto the game. Her pr price naturally fluctuates back up to 800K and boom, I make some coins right there. So this market is really all over the place at the moment. And I think it's going to continue to go a little bit lower. Like sure, some prices may go up throughout the rest of this week. I know a lot of people want to know, yo, when can I buy for ultimate team this season? Like I want to buy somebody from this team because I wanted to get Declan Rice. He's now 300K instead of being 600K. When do I buy the card? I would say buy the card, have fun with it, use it. We're in that end game. You kind of have to have that mentality where you buy the card, you want to use it. And if you lose some coins here or there, you lose some coins. You're going to lose a lot less because of how much the market has dropped from now compared to two weeks from now, comparatively, if you would have bought the card two weeks ago, right? That's one way you can kind of look at it, but still... I'm not super confident that these cards are going to rebound that much because we've got Euros content and a Copa America content, new icons, new heroes right around the corner. So that's kind of my two cents on the ultimate tots market. I actually have two more cents to give, um, four cents, if you want to go at it that way. Um, we have, and this is, a, this is a message directly to EA Sports, FIFA HD, Vancouver, Canada. There are 12, I just counted, and it's astonishing, 12, I believe, if I counted correctly, Team of the Season cards and Ultimate Tots who are not selling on the market because they are at minimum price. And again, a lot of these cards had price range minimums that were updated last week before they came back into packs for Ultimate Team of the Season. Cards like Basha, cards like Dabinia, who was way less than 300,000 coins and who I actually packed. If you're seeing the Tots number on the screen go up and you've been following along with the number of Team of the Seasons that I've packed, where's Dabinia? 300k right here. Um... I packed her yesterday. She's 300K. Her price before this was 120. Like, what the world, man? We need to get these price ranges uh, downgraded, technically, not updated, but I still don't understand that whole thing. That's one of my biggest questions throughout the entire year. But the fact that there are so many cards right now that are not selling in the market is very annoying. Now, as I'm opening a couple of these player picks and getting just fodder, which is kind of what you would expect, these player picks, they've been all over the place. I haven't packed any team of the seasons. Um, I have been getting pretty good fodder, though. Like, I'll take two walkouts out of a seven set of seven player picks. Boom. That's not too shabby, to be honest. Let's send Pop up and the rest of the club. 
fodder prices, guys, really didn't move a whole lot yesterday, right? Because the hype was on evolutions, not as much the SBCs. But I think if you invested in fodder, whatever it was, you're holding, especially the gold fodder, you're still holding because what is it? Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, that's when we see fodder prices going up the most, especially on Wednesdays. If we get an ultimate tots guaranteed SBC, which I think we will. I think it's very possible. There's one that's in the code. We saw it last week, right? A Tots or a Tots Plus from Ultimate Team of the Season. That pack is in the code. So I would think I would hold my fodder until Wednesday. That's kind of your big sell point for that because when that SBC comes out, there will be a lot of hype for that and a lot of people will be completing that. Now, we just did some of those player picks. Let's talk about, would I just sell something? Oh, I, I thought I listed pop and already sold. I didn't list pop. I just put it on the transfer list. Let's talk about Monday content today with SBCs. First of all, we were just talking about the 82 plus pick. It goes away. What's going to return? Last time we had the 82 pick, what followed it was the 81 plus pick and also the 85 plus pick. If they're going to drop an 81 plus player pick today, I have one request. It's more of a demand, not a request, because we've had one of three player picks now since like team of the year. We need a one of four. That extra slot can be huge. And I'm honestly shocked that we haven't got a one of four player pick yet for like the the unlimited repeatable weekly grind type of player pick. So we're hoping that that would come today if they're going to go down in rating. I don't think they're going to go above to 83 plus. That wouldn't be super grindable in terms of like unlimited repeatability like these. So I'm going to guess 81 plus pick today, but hopefully the 85 plus pick comes back. It would be a good week for that with ultimate tots out. I mean, hey, the higher the rating on the player pick, the better, even if it's an 84 rated squad. So that's one thing to watch for. And then of course, the league one tots guaranteed. I would believe that we will be getting that today as well. I don't think that that was super expensive um, last time that we had it. I think that was also like a 70,000 coin SBC. Oh, it was even less. 63,000 coins the last time we got that. It was one squad. So that should be released today as well. A chance at Mbappe, probably going to get somebody like Del Castillo, or I think it was, was it Donnarumma that week that was crazy high in pack weight? No, it was Lala Laco. Yeah, get ready to see French left back or French right back today from that SBC, but it'll be out. It'll be something to do. And then, of course, end of an eras. Um, we're going to have somebody or a flashback today. Joao Felix? I mean, there's no true leaks yet, guys. Uh, I haven't seen any. But Bonucci and Joao Felix. I mean, Tony Cruz has been talked about a lot, but I think it was confirmed yesterday on Twitter that Tony Cruz is not getting an end of an era. He's got the road to the final card that was up, just upgraded. If Tony Cruz is going to get an end of an era, it's probably going to be later on in the summer after he finishes playing in the Euros. Marco Royce is not playing in the Euros. Um, so maybe that's why they chose to do Royce right away and they'll do Tony Cruz later. Speaking of end of an eras, I'm just setting the stage for content that we're going to see in August, guys. Yesterday with Mbappe, the here we go finally being official, right? Uh, I would be shocked if we did not get a 99 rated Mbappe probably during footies. That is Real Madrid, right? They did that last year for, um, or two years ago, was for Messi and Ronaldo, right? I think it was last year they did one for Messi and Ronaldo. They've had a couple of those, right, in the past few years. But a transfer Mbappe, maybe during footies, 99 rated Madrid, SBC. Yeah, you heard me right. That's probably going to be happening. It's going to be like mid-August, though. It's like 50 squads, crazy expensive, but that'll be during a silly season, and that'll be a lot of fun. But... Go get yourself a PSG Mbappe today from the League One Guaranteed if you get insanely lucky uh, to use the real end of an era Mbappe, the last PSG version. So I just wanted to point that out because there'll be an end of an era SBC today. Watch out for the leaks. It'll be talked about before content as well. And I want to shout something that nobody's really talking about, but it happened last year and there was some issues with it last year. This SBC, I believe, was dropped on either Monday or Tuesday of Ultimate Tots and it was to do something that is basically happening right now in this game as well. Last year in FIFA 23, the TOTS cards on the market were exploding in price. And right now, that exact same thing is happening. All the SBCs, all the hype for Ultimate TOTS, people coming back to the game. It's obvious, guys, that there is a lot of hype for Ultimate TOTS right now. The cheapest team of the seasons on the market are 35,000 coins plus. Last year, EA dropped a tradable TOTS or TOTS Moments Upgrade SBC and it was messed up. But the whole point of this SBC was, sorry, there's the screen. The whole point of this SBC was to stop the rise on Team of the Seasons, which were going up. They messed it up, right? 
they had to compensate and the SBC went away and then it didn't return for a number of days. And in the time that it didn't return, EA kept releasing the content that they had scheduled and TOTS cards went shoop, all the way up to 50 to 60,000 coins. So with that being said, TOTS cards are starting to rise again. Will EA release an SBC like this that would impact some of the tradable TOTS, TOTS moments cards with some tradable supply? Maybe. I'm just throwing it out there. That's just uh, something that could happen. They could drop that at any time to try to control these TOTS prices. If you invested in Team of the Seasons, I mean, shoot, they're 35,000 coins apiece. That's pretty good money from when they were below 25K. You're making 10K a card. That's good money. I know some of them are extinct. Would I wait for a price range update? As we already talked about in this video and as we know about price ranges, probably not worth waiting on. So if you want to sell those, I think it's the very safe aspect to go and maybe try to sell those. I think team of the seasons were like 37K earlier yesterday. So I'm not involved in this investment at all, but I know some of you guys may be. That's the safe route. Uh, so just watch out for that. I'm not saying it's going to happen. It's just, it's a potential sort of situation either today or tomorrow, next couple of days. They're going to try to control the prices of team of the seasons because they're going to keep uh, requiring them in SBCs. Here's a bit of a quick tip though. If you need a TOTS card and you don't want to um, go do an SBC or try to pack one in whatever way or shape or form you're going to, instead of buying a team of the season, go buy a TOTS Moments or a TOTS Plus because they are like four to 5,000 coins cheaper. 31K on the market for a TOTS Plus card, 35K for a regular TOTS. Just, you know, a couple things like that that help you save some coins here or there. So guys, that is the video for today. Uh, we're going to try to flip a couple of cards. We're still trading a little bit at the moment just because um, got to keep the coins rolling in. I, I know, you know, one of our goals was to open up store packs with coins uh, to try to pack some of these big boy cards. But man, the store packs, they just this week, I know it's ultimate tots, but I'm not even really I'm wanting to do any of them uh, with coins, of course, as always, they just don't seem that good. So maybe we'll try one more. I've opened the 250K, like the moments pack. Those have been absolute cheeks. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to mess around with any of those today. I got to finish my champs games because your boy has not had a good start. I'm one and two and I need to get to, I would love 12 wins because of the extra player pick, but we got to get our champs games done today and tomorrow to try to get red Harry Kane and whatever other insane ultimate tots cards we can get from red. So we'll be grinding those games today on Twitch. Of course, looking for the new end of an era, grinding the upgrade packs, the content and everything else in this game and trying to decide who I'm going to evolve. Guys, I want to see your evos. Tweet them to me. PSN, message them to me. I'm getting messages all the time on PSN of cards that you guys are evolving or just tell me down below in the comments. I love seeing those because evos being back is one of the better things about this game. This game is doing well when the Evos are popping. From the times this year, that's what I've kind of connected the dots on, right? Winter Wild Cards, good promo, some good uh, Evos during Team of the Year. But Birthday had some decent ones as well. They're finally back out in Ultimate Tots, and this game feels a little bit more alive than it has in recent weeks. So if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys on the Twitch stream today. That link's in the bio. Check out the second channel too. More uploads going up there if you haven't checked it out. Anyway, I'll stop plugging. It's been Nathan with Account. See you guys in the stream tonight. Peace.